Assalamualaikum and welcome to another Zilfit TV vlog episode. Uh, I hope that I didn't make you guys too sad with the last one. But Alhamdulillah, uh, we're fine, we're doing well. We've already managed to clean up probably 80-85% of um, the whole thing. Um, the floor is still dirty from the whatever's left from the, the flood. Um, it's not something that's uh, too bad. I think uh, what, what I can do is just, you know, vacuum it and then uh, give it another round of uh, mopping and I think it will be fine. Some of the equipment uh, is still, still has um, some of the uh, dried mud stuck to it, but that's nothing too difficult. I think you can just wipe it down and that will be done probably sometime in the future. I'm not in a hurry to open up this place again, so that can wait a little bit longer. In any case, for today's uh, vlog episode, I actually wanted to show you a couple of things. Number one is that I'm about to receive my first shipment post-flood. Uh, secondly, I've invited the uh, consultant from the warehouse wrecking system to come to actually advise me on what sort of storage rack and also platform that uh, I should get for, for this place. Now, let me just get into the details uh, a little bit. Uh, number one, um, uh, with regards to the, the shipment that's, that's coming, uh, I think, alhamdulillah, that it is coming today instead of last week. So the story behind that is um, it was supposed to arrive at port at about, I think it was on the 17th or 19th of December. And obviously the flood happened on the 18th and 19th. And uh, usually it takes about five days, five to seven days uh, to clear all the equipment, to clear the shipment from the port. Alhamdulillah, the shipment is actually delayed. And uh, I can't help but marvel at the uh, divine decree um, as a muslim you know i believe that whatever god wants to happen it will happen and there's nothing that we can do about it i think we just have to accept it and be patient and just move on now um, if the shimmer had come sooner so it, it would have avoided the flood in any case but what would happen uh, was that I, I wouldn't have enough time to clean up the, the whole uh, storage area and it would have been a mess and it would probably have been too much of a rush to bring the equipment in and then those equipment would be dirty and, and whatnot. So the fact that it's coming today, Alhamdulillah, because we've already managed to clean most of the, the, the storage area anyway, and we've already cleared a lot of space. And that means that when whatever comes in, I can just simply put at the storage area and it will be safe. Otherwise, if, that, if it had come uh, sooner, what would happen is that uh, I don't know what would happen because we didn't have any, any space because we haven't cleaned up the, the whole area, right? So Alhamdulillah for, for it being delayed and, um, and I'm, I'm happy that, you know, uh, we, we get to receive the equipment uh, today and make sure that everything is um, stored uh, properly. Now, the second thing about the racking system, um, I believe I've mentioned in the previous episode. What I want to do is um, have less space for the showroom and more space for storage. The reason behind that is, I think, um, number one, I still get very few visitors here. Number two, uh, some of the equipment that I have is probably um, something that, that, that is probably not too popular in, this, in the Malaysian market. I used to think that you know those equi I, I kept those equipment because um, I wanted to open up a gym um, in the future. I thought that maybe if, if I started collecting them now, by the time that I'm ready to open up a gym, you know we have a full, a full set of equipment. But I don't think that I, I, I don't foresee that happening uh, anytime soon. So I think it's just better to let them go now while they still have some value and um, once you know i'm ready to open up a gym i i will just buy new ones and hopefully by that time eleco would have uh, more new equipment more new products um, available so that's the reason why i want to reduce the uh, floor space for the showroom and increase the the storage area uh, the reason behind the the latter part is that i think if you can see now the uh, racks actually is uh, quite full already. So what I'm what I'm going to do is to raise the uh, the base level, the, the 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 first beam on the rack, uh, slightly above, not not high enough that you know um, when if a flood does happen again that it won't get affected. But at least 
some form of guarantee that you know some of the stocks would be uh, above water level if it were to happen again Alhamdulillah Mizalik based on the things that I have right now and what I have planned ahead I think I should have uh, more storage space um, moving forward the second thing about the racking system is I'm also thinking about building a platform uh, a platform where I can work on you know um, so it is based on the parts the beams the uprights of the racking system it is something that is modular and something that I can easily dismantle and take it to a new location if the need arises if you guys remember last time what I had was I built the mezzanine floor in, in space U8 right so those uh, were made by uh, you know, uh, beams and uh, once we had to dismantle them, there was no way of reusing um, those, 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 those metal parts. So I lost a lot of money from, from that and I, I, I don't want to make that same mistake again. So it's better to build this platform with um, the storage parts that can be installed and dismantled quite easily. So today, while waiting for the shipment to come and for the rack guys to come, what I plan to do is to do a bit more cleaning. I need to dry out the uh, benches uh, some more and uh, probably a few bits and pieces here where I need to wipe down all the uh, uh, remaining mud, remaining dried mud. Most importantly, I, I need uh, a clean desk to work on so that I can do some work here um, while I'm here today. I don't think I, un I honestly think this will not dry out anytime soon um, because the sand is trapped inside and I don't know where the water and I can't even flip them over because they're too heavy and uh, I'm assuming it's going to be wet and more disturbingly is that I think it will smell what we what I have here is the white power rack and this all these uprights, uh, all these beams were, were actually placed right underneath the um, right at the, the bottom part of the, the storage rack and obviously they got submerged in uh, the flood and somebody has shown interest in getting this I've given them uh, quite a bit of a discount not quite a bit, quite a lot actually but what we want to see now is that be because some um, because the the color of the the cardboard seems to be stuck or well, i think this is mud i'm not too sure whether it's i think it's mud and also the color of the cardboard it's sort of um imprinted <laughs> it's stuck on on the the white frame and i need to make sure that we can wash it off uh, if I can, then I think the customer would probably take the um, white power rack. And I've had this for <laughs> more than a year now. And, no, sorry. I think I've had this for almost a year. And I just want to get rid of it. I just want to get rid of actually a lot of um, uh, all of the um, showroom equipment as well as the stocks that have been here for quite a while. This white is actually... <laughs> quite nice very nice oh, it's still wet some areas are still wet let's see if we can clean this off okay it wipes off so that's good let's see on this side okay thank god at, at least you can wipe off the the dirt Unfortunately, as you can see, the insides of the power rack, it's rusted. But I doubt that this rust is going to spread outside because of the powder coat. But it is a problem. I might need to dry this out uh, just to prevent it from accumulating more rust. So I took off the packaging from the frames of the XFAT white power rack they're not badly damaged except for um, the the base where the frames were lying on uh, those inside of inside of them is uh, rusted um, and 
depending on your perspective, it might look pretty bad. But from my point of view, because it's inside, uh, as long as the outside is powder coated, I don't think that it will spread. Um, however, I I do I did notice that on the outside there were some chips um, of paint, and those on those parts they have some rust and especially also in the holes of the uh, uprights um, some of them um, is rusted already um, other than that i suppose you still can use this power rack uh, it's not that it's unusable at all however i'm sure because of the rust the price of this white power rack will be greatly reduced there, as you can see now, we have a lot of uh, storage space once everything has been taken out and then uh, put aside. So the idea is, um, I'm, I'm thinking of adding one more uh, rack as high as, as this one. Um, but the problem is we have the, that particular fan uh, on there. Probably I'll just take it off. Um, but this, this, this is all depending on what the uh, consultant would, would say. Um, I still have no idea where to put the, uh, the platform. I'm taking somewhere over on, on this side. Um, it wouldn't be too, too high because like I mentioned uh, before, I don't like climbing the stairs to, to go to my office. Um, something maybe lesser than the height of this um, um, uh, rest at restroom would be just nice but that would depend on the type of frame i suppose uh, how high the frame is um, that i want to get um, but in any case uh, i'll just wait for the experts to give me the advice okay so yesterday the uh, the shipment didn't come apparently there's some problems at the port to take the uh, cargo out so inshallah today uh, today's a friday uh, they'll come after friday prayers Apart from that, uh, I had a meeting with the rack guys uh, yesterday and uh, I sought his advice in terms of what, of the, uh, what kind of rack or platform that I can get uh, to fit uh, in this warehouse. Now, um, so there, there are a few things that, that I learned. Uh, number one, that um, you know, the, way, the way you want to uh, design the platform and the layout of all the racks, uh, I think it has to take into account a um, few, few things. Um, but namely is how accessible the racks would be for the rich truck. Um, with the given space that you see in front of me, uh, that's ample enough space for me to maneuver the rich truck and then to put all the pallets on the, the rack. However, if we have a platform right opposite me right here, right, right next to the uh, restroom, uh, it might be a little bit diffi difficult, especially if you want to extend the racks all the way up until that side. Now, um, the, the thing that I, I specifically asked him for was that uh, I wanted a rack that is long enough to fit a 3.1 meter long uh, crate. So usually this crate, um, what's, what's packed in, in them are uh, things like the platforms, um, sometimes barbells and weights and, and, uh, and also the uh, racks. Right at right this moment, the big um, crate that I have is just sitting on the floor and every time I want to move something, I have to move it out first and then only I can access the, the pallets on, on the rack. So I wanted a rack that can especially house or uh, that can especially house the particular crate inside the rack itself. He took all the measurements of the particular unit and then uh, he's going to go back and discuss with his engineer and recommend me the best uh, solution to have additional storage racks as well as a platform. For today, um, we're just going to wait for the shipment to come. Just unload it a bit. Uh, I'm not too sure whether I want to separate it out based on the pre-orders that I've received. Um, I'm kind of tired and uh, I'm probably going to focus doing that after New Year. Uh, every day I've been moving things out, uh, even today I moved the bench out again to dry them out. Um, it's very difficult to dry the, 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 the pad of the bench because um, the, the foam of the bench 
is covered with the um, lead, it's covered with leather, and so it's difficult for the water to just you know dry up. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully, it's hot enough that you know the water just dissipates. While waiting for the um, shipment to arrive, uh, a couple of friends came by and helped me clean the dumbbells. So some of the dumbbells, um, as you can see, there is um, there's still what looks like to be the mud uh, still stuck on the surface of the dumbbells. Um, we've tried to clean it, clean it off as much as we could, um, but it just won't come off. So I think, you know, we're just going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to uh, waste too much time in like making it look perfect. I must say, it's rather easy using this uh, rich truck to get to unload to unload <laughs> all these things from the truck. Okay, so we have uh, she is a relatively very small uh, shipment, only two pallets. Only one item is uh, belongs to a customer. The rest is actually what I plan for the showroom and some of them what I, uh, what items that I plan uh, as stock but because of the flood things are changing and I am thinking of just selling everything that I uh, bought for the showroom um, you'll see in a bit what I actually have inside of these um, pallets I went overboard with um, some of the things that I bought for this shipment, uh, especially these. These are the old Eleco Sport Training plate, black color, with the old Eleco logo. So I think I bought a bunch of uh, 25s and also 10s. So this is uh, something that I'm going to sell for probably 20 to 25% less than the retail price uh, because they're the old model. But they're basically new, just old model. Um, also in here would be uh, some of my um, IWF training plate, uh, those are stock, for stock. Uh, I also have one customer's um, powerlifting, performance powerlifting bar right here. I've also got the uh, Lockjaw Pro Collars as well. Those are a big hit here in Malaysia, I'm, I've always been able to sell them off um, quite fast. Um, apart from that... I uh, don't know, I have to unpack all this. Okay guys, today is Tuesday, 4th of January. And uh, I've not finished the um, unpacking of the last shipment that came on Friday. I'm just unpacking everything. I will be unpacking uh, everything today. But in order to do so, as you can see, I need to take out some of these items right here. Get them out so I have space to take some of the pallets from the rack and then take out the plates from the crate and then um, rearranging, them, rearranging them again and then put them back on the rack so I, have, I can clear the space in the storage area. So this is the goal for today, inshallah. Hopefully I can get everything done quickly because then I need to update the website and then um, got to start selling all this stuff um, and probably planning my uh, garage sale. As you can see behind me here is my masterpiece. I've already sorted out all the stocks, um, the flooded ones as well as uh, the new ones that just came in. Now we have ample space in the storage area for more stuff to come in. Um, I'm expecting another shipment actually this week. No, wait, on the 7th of January. When is that? Today is the 4th. So by Friday, 
it should be at the port so it takes about one week to clear so probably sometime around next week or the week after we're going to get about five uh, pallets worth of uh, equipment um, and uh, even though uh, there's, there's probably only a couple of spaces um, that I can put pallets on uh, but that's fine because now that the showroom is um, quite spacious because I'm selling some of the equipment I've sold one power rack so I'm going to dismantle it after this so I'm going to have space to just put the, the pallets on, on the floor uh, again hopefully it doesn't flood uh, inshallah I don't think it's going to flood anyway I've already got the drawings from the racking system guys and it looks nice it's, he's, he's actually proposing to have uh, all the racks lined up on, on this particular wall right here and on the opposite wall we'll have the, the, the platform where I told you guys that I'm going to do my, my work moving forward and underneath it we can still store more pallets so I think it looks good I think it's just about uh, it's a matter of um, the cost and if the cost is, the, is um, reasonable I think I'm going to just take the plunge and convert this whole area into a big warehouse inshallah and I hope that after this, we can just continue on business as usual and hopefully we still get people to come here. We still we, we will have some um, equipment which will be on display as showroom unit, uh, but they will be put upstairs, um, especially all the new ones like the Prestera racks, um, the new benches with the PUR upholstery and, and whatnot. And I'm, ex I'm really, really excited about the future, about 2022. And uh, I hope that, you know, 2022 will be better than 2021, inshallah. In any case, uh, this is it for this particular episode. Uh, thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification. I'll see you guys again in the next Zilfit TV vlog episode. Bye, guys.